Right, so I said to us, it doesn't matter if you've got uh, one tooth, one front tooth. I mean, I, I don't care. I mean, it's what's inside that counts, isn't it? You know what I mean? I mean, that's the type of guy I am, you know? Oh, well, all right. Um, sorry about that. I'm back in my shed. I'm uh, going to start another project. About time it's been... It's been a bit since I've, I've had so much going on. Um, just outside shedy things the trouble fears took some toll as well but I'm gonna start a new project I'm not gonna go massive and um, basically I'm gonna have a bit of experiment with resin and uh, whatnot I've got I've started to do a bit of a bit prep work but basically I'm gonna I've got that that's the beachy barba and um, I'm gonna chisel some veins out of that so shape the top so you haven't just got a square square top shape the bottom a bit give it a bit of character and then fill up the veins with resin so then I'll come to turn it and you should see a sort of nice-ish pattern Fing oh, fingers crossed but like I see I've done a bit I've done a bit prep work already I've prepped that for me tenon to go in the back of the, the lathe I could buy some a chuck and jaws but they're 190 quid and that literally takes two minutes to make so I'll have to I'll put I'll make the the female part of the tenant in there but it, it it doesn't take long so I cannot I cannot come I cannot waste 190 pound on a set of jaws just yet when I'm only doing like piss barley things and um, for the for the male part of the tenant that's in the jug there see it jug oh <laughs> jug age yeah it's glued to the bottom so when I pour the resin in it doesn't float up which will be a shame nightmare like if it does well hell, hell, hell. my head's the size of a jug out so that'll go in there like I'm gonna see if you can get it go in there like that so you'll see that there's a, a gap you see it there so that gap there will be the foot that'll be full of resin that'll be the foot of the beaker and then there, uh, as I see that bit there, will go into one second, one second, it'll go into there on the lathe. So I'll be turning it like that, something like that. Don't bang it, I don't want it to bang. Now I haven't got a pressure pot or anything like that, but I'm going to, I've noticed when I'm doing any sanding on the bench, the bench vibrates like like an out of control and summer shop uh, so I'm hoping when it's all set and sitting I can just pretend to do a bit of sanding cause a bit of vibration and that'll get all the little air bubbles to the top which I want if it works it works if it doesn't well I'm just gonna have to wait till I get a pressure pump before I do any more because I don't want to if I start playing with it I don't want to spoil it so uh, yeah that's about that's about it for now so what I'll do is I'll flip the camera so you can see is piss balling about and then I'll get the resin in let it go off for 24 hours because that's how long it takes come back and then we'll chuck it in the, the lathe and then see if uh, see if I can actually finish it and see what it looks like because I'm a bit intrigued John a bit intrigued well, yeah that's it so let's move on how
I finally got this chiseled, uh, got it all finished. I'm gonna have to buy a router or something because that was pretty tedious. Uh, but that's what I've got. So yeah. So I've cut them out like so. So if you do that way it might be better. So I've cut them out like that. I think I'm gonna have it that way. So what'll happen is I'll put this in the jug. Um, fill it up so all these veiny bits here, which you can see there, all these veiny bits here will fill up with resin. I'm probably just going to end up with more resin than I want, so I'll have a bit, I'll have a bit to round off before I get back to the tin. But there's a few dints where I've been chiseling and there's been like a, a shaving underneath. But yeah, that's been, that's been a thing. Get there, you can see that didn't there, see, see there. Uh, Bit of a, a few scratches and stuff, but I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah, just hammer and chisel, cutting them out, and then uh, well, when it's finished, that wood will be gone. Uh, you can see it's side on there. So yeah, I made that. That's mine. Yeah. So well, it's time to fire up this resin malarkey because um, I'm gonna be used to be awesome. <laughs>
Well, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, there's a, yeah. I'm gonna, so can you see that? I'm gonna zoom in. Yeah. I'm gonna put this down as a feel. Um, it's basically coming, the resin shrunk back from the wood, from the timber inside, and it's just chipped to hell. I can't really do much, much with it really. Yeah. I need a pressure pot because obviously a pressure pot will shrink all the air bubbles. <coughs> and it'll it'll keep that in check. It'll probably just keep it pulled tight to the wood when it's gone. So I've got a funny feeling if I try to dig into this from the from there to hollow it out. It's just gonna it's just gonna explode, there's not enough there's not enough there and bits that come off it like that just come off the end. And that's pretty yeah, that was on there and that shot off and you can see it is pretty it's pretty brittle so yeah, my first experiment with resin. I'll give it a go anyway, so I'm not bothered. Uh, and it was it was it was actually all right. You can see it's pretty smooth. It's just the fact is I I daren't I just daren't hollow it out in case it shatters into a million pieces and it'd be a complete waste of time. So I'm putting that down as a bit of a fail. Never mind. I've learned. I mean, I, I maybe should have primed the edges. Of the timber there first for a bit of resin to seal it all up. Yeah, maybe maybe that would have been a good better idea. But now nah, I'm not taking this one any further. It's it's a no. And you can see there's there's loads of air bubbles in there. It'll just it'll go. And the last thing I want is someone exploding in my face after spending so much time. But I mean I've made quite quite a mess there which I'll have to clean up yeah well never mind there uh, oh, I hope I managed to get this this to lift before John I don't really know I don't really know to be honest So, yep. Yeah. <coughs> Put your hands up. That's not going to work out very well. I can see it now. And well, you live and learn, don't you? It's the whole point of it. Isn't it? It's the whole exercise. Well, I, I hope you enjoyed watching that. Even though I'm coming out. I'll just do it. Far. I got that far. Yeah. So yeah, you can already see it was a bit. It's been a bit under stress already there. I don't know if you can see it. There's a, yeah, there's a couple of there's a couple of cracks. You see where it's where it's come away. Yeah, so never mind. Just another, just another thing in it, so, uh, right, let's tidy up, and when I get a pressure pot, unless I do something without, <coughs> without turning, and something exploded in my face, but I'll have a think about that, I'll think about it, I'll go from there, right. there we are, right, thanks for watching, and there, uh, Enjoy your day. Bye bye.